Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to a new live stream here on YouTube. Doing a live stream from my old computer, my retro PC. And well, the, the idea is to resume um, our attempt of a playthrough for Rayman Brain Games for PlayStation 1 but before that I want to do a run or maybe two probably just one because Rayman is still a very long game so actually I do want to take my time to go through that but I also want to do a, a quick run of uh, Ultimate Mortal Kombat Deluxe and today I'm gonna be trying this character which well in the game is uh, called Idols but it's basically the equivalent to or an attempt to bring Chameleon into this game remember Chameleon is basically a combination of all the ninjas that get together on a single character but in this case it's basically a single character that has moves from different ninjas in the game However, it lacks several uh, finishing moves, so that that's gonna be a little bit of an issue because you won't see me really do those uh, finishing moves. And as you can see, the picture is basically like a have a picture of reptile and have a picture of Ermac, even though I don't have any moves from any of these two characters specifically. Actually, I've got moves mostly from um, Noob Saibot, Sub-Zero and Rain. Mostly Noob Saibot and Rain. From Sub-Zero we have the freezing move, from Noob Saibot we have the teleport and the shadow attack and from Rain we have that move right there that paralyzes the enemy for a second and the lighting. And strangely enough the finishing move that works actually here is Striker's Animality when he turns into a dinosaur. Babality works. And that's about it. No, not even the Pit Fatality works properly. That's a combo from Scorpion and Smoke. Human Smoke. Ca cannot perform the Spear though. So yeah, it's an interesting character, but of course. It definitely needs more developments. Let's go for the animality again. It, it's what you're gonna see the most. That's for sure. Alright, let's try other... Other areas, other stages that we, we haven't shown so far, which are mostly the ones from Ultimate MK3. So yeah, it goes by the name of Idols. Hey, that lighting actually stroke him. That's fine. We can't afford losing fights. We got 30 crits. It's an interesting moveset though. It's an interesting combination. But of course, it would be a perfect character if we got more finishing moves. Whichever. I mean, it doesn't matter which ones. Yeah, let's do Babality, since it works without hesitation in this one. Remember, uh, Girl's Lair was uh, an extra stage added for this hack. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention, I I'm actually using or, or playing the, the version with modified music, the, the music mode. So that's why you hear the MK2 Deadpool music. Which, well, that doesn't, it, it shouldn't even go in this game. 
and the rest of the music is taken from the arcade, not only from the Super Nintendo versions. So yeah, in the celebration it says Master. Again, it, it, it's a completely... How can I say? Nonsensical character. What else can I do? Well, if I try a friendship, nothing happens. Friendship. Friendship again. Round two. Fight. Uh, fatalities, I actually try the two buttons. Brutality actually does work if you perform the actual brutality combination. It doesn't work on the one button cheat. In here, so you won't see me do an actual brutality. As far as I know, the combination is from Rain. I just try a fatality, nothing happens. Alright, let's uh, alright, let's go to some ultimate MK3 stages. Yeah, I mostly perform Noob Cybot's moves. Those are the most broken ones for sure. Earthquake. Alright, let's try the other fatality button. Nothing happens. Well, beat fatalities don't work either. Even if there is a single button for them, but... It would be like the only way to actually see this hidden character perform in an actual fatality. Okay, and let's do the animality again since it's like the only one thing I can do together with the ability. Let's take a look at the graveyard again. One of the biggest additions in this hack. I don't know if I mentioned it in some of the previous playthroughs, but as you can see, the whole screen is basically used for, for this actual stage. There's no black borders. Well, I mean, you can see the black borders in the video, but that's part of the the aspect ratio thing, but... Uh, strictly speaking, you can see that the whole screen being used in the stage itself. No black borders at, at, at top or bottom because of the uh, smaller resolution of the SNES versions for these games. So there is more use of the screen, actually. Which uh, makes it look, let's say, more similar to the arcade. Well, this character in the end has a variety of moves, but I always end up using the same three or fours so on the idea is to be switching and, and, and changing constantly if possible. Use of zeros, reigns, noob cybots, and not just one or the other, but one and the other. And yeah, let's do the baby already again. Well, I'm gonna take you to one of the pit fatalities areas just to show you that you cannot perform and or maybe you would accidentally, I don't know. So to the bell tower, I think it's perfect. It's already time for the endurance battle. Oh. 
CPU pretty much always jumps as a way to avoid my, my lighting. That was a good glitch. No, reality is... Remember in the actual Super Nintendo game, even though you can play as Noob Saiban and perform this move, you are not supposed to perform it on Shiva since she doesn't appear on the console versions. So I guess we are like defying the laws of physics when adding characters to these realms. Characters that are not supposed to belong in here. Maybe I should be more aggressive after freezing or something. About to die. Took too many hits against first character. So this is the first credit we lose, huh? It's okay. Yeah, now the the lazy part is you actually have to wait until the character I chose appears within the variety of hidden characters right here. Okay, where should I go now? Well, let's continue at the bell tower. Oh, hold on. It froze. So, somehow this capture card is really, really, really sensitive. And yeah, okay, at least it works. But yeah, I barely touch any any wire and it freezes. Alright. I was literally a master in that one. Yeah, in Endrun's battles, remember when using the one battle fatality cheat, you cannot perform any final move in between rounds. Okay, that was the other Scorpion's thing? No, apparently it doesn't work like that. No, it doesn't work the Air Max Telekinesis. I was just testing it in case it did work. No, no pit fatality. Well, let's do some dinosaur instead. Just to show you something. It's a fair trade. Alright, time for Motaro. For the final bosses, we shouldn't have major issues. Now, ending-wise, I'm kind of curious to see what ending I'm really gonna see. Yeah, you see, I, I'm, I'm not gonna have issues and I'm getting my ass kicked. Yeah, of course, if Motaro gets aggressive like that, Don't interrupt my combo, that shouldn't happen. I guess all the runs I will be doing for, for this particular hack, I will be using the music mod, which is the, the one I'm currently using. For the first two playthroughs I, I provided on this, you know, playing as Noob Saibot and what was the other? Um, Human Smoke, I think? I just use the, the regular ROM with the actual MK3 music. Okay, that, 
ended up being much easier than I thought. Time for some Shao Kahn. Well, that was terrible. In every sense. Yeah, that was terrible indeed. Shut up. It's basically the same strategy they use playing as every character, regardless. If there is a ninja or not. Sometimes it works consistently, some other times it doesn't. Well, I was close enough, I was too risky as well, so it's kind of expected that I would have died like that. Again, I'm particularly curious about this guy's ending. If they added any at all. Or maybe it's replacing one or... You know, my guess is... It, it, this guy's ending is basically Reigns, or Noob Saibot's ending. Since it's mostly a combination of those two characters. Since we have pretty much the whole move 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 set from those two. That's weird. It's weird that, uh, that the the freezing command sometimes doesn't work. It doesn't want to work. It happened twice in this round. Okay. Sometimes I have to run risks like that. I remember at some point, every time he started with that move, I always hit him with an uppercut. For a while now, I haven't been able to connect pretty much not a single time. And there you have it. A run playing as idol slash chameleon in this hack. Yeah, it appears as master. No, no ending. It, it goes right into the cast of characters. It, it makes total sense. No complaining. At all. Hey, Michael. How are you doing? Welcome. Yeah, but then we have the development development team cast, so yeah, it, it is an interesting character. I mean, I wish or I hope I, I would like personally that he gets more development. Not not in terms of the moves. I mean, I think adding too many moves to a single character is a little bit too much. 
I think the, the, the moves that this guy has, idols, is more than okay. I mean, combines pretty much. It's one of my favorite moves. Noob Cybots, probably the spear. I think the spear would have been perfect. But Noob Cybots moves, Rain moves, uh, the, the freezing move from Sub Zero. Maybe there was another that they didn't get to work. Maybe from Air Mac or, or Reptile. But. Yeah, finishing moves. That, that's what I would love to see added to a character like that, personally. Can I skip this? No, I can't, but, well, you get the points. So yeah, that's a run.